investigates has new developments into our probe into FEMA's treatment of Hurricane Ike victims. Last month, we exposed these large discrepancies in FEMA's help for victims of Hurricane Ike versus victims of Hurricane Katrina. And tonight, several members of Congress are calling for new hearings and an official government investigation. KPRC Local 2 investigative reporter Stephen Dean discovered that even FEMA's new director says the questions Local 2 investigates exposed should be answered. Uh, this hearing is being held to look at the president's budget request for FEMA. During a FEMA budget meeting on Capitol Hill, our surprising numbers of how FEMA may have treated victims of Hurricane Ike differently than victims of Hurricane Katrina took center stage. I also like to get the answer to why such a big disparity. Local 2 investigates first exposed the disparity, and Texas Congressman Michael McCall let FEMA Director yeah, Craig Fugate hear the numbers firsthand. Uh, but I just wanted to throw out a few figures. Last month, our investigation showed when it came to FEMA housing assistance, 74% of Katrina victims received help. After Hurricane Ike, only 17% of the victims received that same housing help from FEMA. FEMA also offers what's called other needs assistance for non-housing-related expenses. We found average FEMA payment after Katrina was more than $5,600 per victim. But after Hurricane Ike, the average payment here was just $1,700 per victim. That's three times less than what Katrina victims received. Numbers don't lie there. Texas Governor Rick Perry called those differences unfair, even offensive. Now we have facts that back up. Texas is treated differently than Louisiana by two administrations now. That's not right. Our investigation also prompted Houston Mayor Bill White and Harris County Judge Ed Emmett to question whether FEMA shortchanged Ike victims. FEMA officials refused our repeated requests for an interview or to answer any of our questions about the differences. It's always the balancing act. But back in Washington, FEMA's Fugate testified his agency should find those answers. He said any investigation should determine if backlash from all the waste, fraud, and abuse after Hurricane Katrina un unfairly affected the amount of help Ike victims received. Are the controls we're putting into control fraud unnecessarily also now penalizing people? And how do we strike the proper balance between speed and effectiveness, but not having the runaway or the situation where there are lack of fiduciary controls on who is getting assistance, who's not warranted, and that actually takes away from the people that are most vulnerable. At the hearing, Representative McCall said he asked the Government Accountability Office to investigate the differences in FEMA's hurricane help. Several members of the Homeland Security Committee, which oversees FEMA, are also requesting a full congressional hearing on the disparity we exposed. We will keep watching for any new developments. Stephen Dean, KPRC Local 2. Well, you've seen part of it, but we've posted video of the full FEMA meeting and testimony of FEMA's new director. You can find it in the Local to Investigate section of Click2Houston.com. Also, federal government just announced that Texas will be getting $1.7 billion to help with recovery from Hurricanes Ike, Gustav, and Dolly. If you have a story for Local 2 Investigates, call their tip line at 713-223-TIPS or email local2investigates at click